Finals hype. Oh, I forgot to mention the bands. The bands, same bands. Kiyuki banning Handlock and RDU banning Hunter. Same bands they've done all tournament long. With honor. Well, nothing surprising there. And here we go. All right, not a bad start for Kiyuki. Actually, getting the Acolyte of Pain can be good. I just need something to go with it, like a Taskmaster or something else like that. Even a Ghoul would be good. Yeah, anything to match the hero power and make it actually favorable for you. You know, the Acolyte gives you the draw. The Armor Smith allows you to gain armor. Mm -hmm. And, you know, basically make it very difficult for your opponent to pick up value early on. But other than Alkalite, there really isn't anything going on for Koyuki here. Or Trump, right. <laughs> apparently on the overlay. We Trump. didn't have time to fix it, yeah. but you guys know yeah. what it is. You get the you general gist. Yeah, we'll fix that in just one second, guys. But coining out the Acolyte it's going to be good. It's going to be able to, I'm going to draw two cards here. Actually, at least two cards here. All right, there we go. I don't think RDU cares. No, he obviously doesn't care. He's just hero powering regardless. But that's dangerous because one of the ways that Warrior actually beats Paladin is getting super value off their acolytes to make sure that they always have a way to keep up in threats. So you have to just be careful not to give him too many draws. But what RDU could, he couldn't deny it, so he just simply hero powered again so he can play Ascension. But just be mindful of it. Like the second acolyte, you should really make sure to deny its value there. All right. Well, this lines up really well with the death bite here. He's gonna be able to remove it, first swing of it. And Kyuki is actually his his curve is actually quite good here. He's gonna be able to play a nice five and a nice six. He's got choices too at both. So let's see what he ends up deciding on for both of those turns. Uh, are you coming into a nice turn six too once he can get to it but this turn five is going to be pretty bad for him uh it's just going to be something he throws down it's going to die to the death and fight not anyway. silver champion and pass that is harrison jones written all over it yeah but lucky for him no harrison all right oh, well, there we go. karen is pretty good against whatever offers. I think you even attack in, so that way you, that spite's less effective. Yeah, get some value out of these, the these dudes. Yep. The battle, the battle, the battle. I mean, he is gonna most likely attack the, the Karen, so. All right, it's uh, looking, like looking like his own Karen's gonna be coming down here. He can remove the top of the. He can remove Karen. Uh, with no, the, I, I like oh, the actually, acolyte. It's oh, about oh. getting the value here and getting yeah, so far yeah. ahead of Paladin that it doesn't matter. Wow, nice. Like Is he's three power? cards deeper. Um, oh, uh, I don't know about that. Yeah. Want to use Shield Slam on this? Ah, actually, it's okay. But you don't, don't have to. I think you to. do. Yeah, you have got you got Fiery War Axe next turn. Hmm. All right, okay. I'm not loving well, it, but it's all right. Do it. yeah. But you do know it. why he can make this decision? It's because he's three cards deeper in his deck. Okay, sure. And That's true. I'm just making a case in point that the Acolyte's just so important. Yeah. Definitely. All right, so it's Consecrate's pretty much going to be his entire turn. Not going to be able to do uh, anything but hero power here, and that just allows Kabuki to... To play whatever he wants, really. Oh, sure. I think Karen comes out now, like you suggested before. Ooh. Pretty strong. Yeah. The alternative play is Lothab, but mm. it's like Lothab and a weapon. Sylvanas really doesn't do Ooh, much. I don't like Sylvanas. No oh, okay, what is he trying to get ahead of? Is he trying to yeah, get ahead of? Yeah, actually, you're going to get... Hmm. Wow, yes, what just happened? Just That's very little value for Sylvanas. That's... Karen would have been was... much better there. I, I don't know why he didn't play no, Karen. he anticipated something. Yeah, he, obviously. Um, like, it's not... That's not a... Anyway, everyone's gonna call this a Dennis play, but it wasn't. There was something more to this that I just don't know. I think know he was. I, you know what I think he was doing? I think he was trying to bait out an Aldor or a Humility, something, something of that sort. I 
Yeah, the true silver. I mean, playing right into the true silvers. I, have no I mean, it's way better, obviously, playing the Karen into the true silver. Yeah, so that that actually um, that actually gives RDU gives RDU back into this. Just by one card, to be honest, um, Koyuki's quality of cards has been sitting at a very high mount just because of how much she's collected off the Acolyte. He's had a full <laughs> 10 cards. Um, okay, he's got the Spellbreaker. Yeah, got the Spellbreaker. Spell you, can you do something funky with Sylvanas and Shield Slam and Faceless? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah. I don't, there's nothing that, that valuable there, but it would be nice to have get re-get <laughs> Sylvanas here. Uh, but... Ah, it's all good. You can have faces for Tyrion. It's fine. Yeah, sure. So, it's no Spellbreaker great way to remove seems this. Like it's an opportunity to come out here. Yeah, I think Spellbreaker. He could shield block and get through that too. Yeah. yeah. Draw first, of course. Mm -hmm. Okay, Bassmaster's actually really good here. Yeah, it's perfect, actually. You can get rid of Savannah's now. Sylvanas came second, though. Oh, after wait, K. wait. He's actually one short. Oh, one mana short there because of the shield slam. Crap. Did oh. he want it? Oh, is he thinking he can execute or something? Wait, what? Well, he I'm needs a spell sure breaker that. On. He needs okay. a spell breaker that. Well, he's, mm, he basically I gave him the 4 5 bane. Yeah, he okay, was one well, mana short of the. Go ahead. I mean, from here, it's still a little inconsequential. Um, Ardu's just kind of like pushing in, and Koyuki's still pretty far ahead. Well, okay, so now is the time... Well, he doesn't have the shield slam anymore, I was just going to say. Now is the time where he might want a faceless and do something with that, but... Um, he still can just... I think take... I, I think... So, okay, you got a Spellbreaker. Can take out Lothab with a Taskmaster and the you know just the hit from the Cairn. Um, what else though? For honor. Mm, I think Koyuki should start developing his weapons. He has two of them, and they're just going to get increasingly hard to play. You have Alex and Gromash, and I think you should take the opportunity to start being a little bit more aggressive. Like, at least be able to threaten a death rattle effect. Okay, you think he should just swing at face, though, here? I mean, I don't think he should hit... Or, I mean, one one's going to die anyways from the second hit, so yeah, yeah just hit mind, face. I don't mind if hit death face. There you go. And then you can clear board, possibly. It's turn 10, right? Yeah, you could clear board oh, if you want to get some next. Oh. Second Sylvanas. Oh That's... boy, okay, RD is starting to turn this around here. Because now it's going to be really hard to start establishing any kind of semblance of a legendary board. You're going to have to brawl and then like yeah. live with the consequences. But they just crash everything into it and brawl and hope that there's like a 1 1 left. That's a good brawl. Um. You can throw a load that down behind it. Oh, wait. No. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, okay. That's good. Yeah, that's good. That, that's, no, that's fine. You kill whatever comes yeah. out. That's actually better. Alright. Okay. Um. I think you kill him. It. Oh, yeah. Execute it. Yeah, that's true. That's a good. No, you don't want to. I don't know if you want to take that extra damage. Just execute. Uh, you can develop something, another weapon. It's clear your opponent doesn't have um, Harrison Jones. Oh and man, you could have. Gosh, it's too bad he couldn't line that up with the Gromash, but. Ah, not the end of the world, honestly. Like, Koyuki was this far ahead because of the beginning. He is way yeah, deeper in his deck than he should be. Yeah. And RDU was not. That's just almost, it almost seems like an oversimplification, but a lot of times it is in these control matchups. Like, when you keep playing with the luxury of so much extra removal. Yeah. RDU actually has a ton of removal in his hand. 
Like, if Alex is playing, he's got an answer with BGH, he's got Aldors, and right. the quality also creates. So he's got every answer he needs, just one, an just like single answers. But does that matter uh, considering how much pressure he can put on with low pressure? Like, because now that Alexstrasza comes out, it dies, but now he's putting on damage and it's putting him to 10 health or 11. Oh, Alder comes out though. Yeah, Alder's still. Come it's out. like the fact that Gromash can come out and threaten. He just used a heal too, so now is the time to Alex. Yeah, definitely the time to Alex after a heal. It's not as late handed, but it's okay. You're gonna, you're trying to burst him down here. Get a Taskmaster here. It's over, or almost over, almost over, because he can clear the board here. Ooh. Hmm. Not yet. Nope. Deal with not this quite. first. Oh, that would have been sick if he had more minions on the board. But maybe in fact, there's no way to do this. He needs to heal himself up to put himself out of Gromash. Here. The war doesn't have a great way to deal with a, a full board like this. Well, it's got um, another weapon. Ysera is also pretty decent. Oh, wow, he's going to be really low if he plays Ysera. And oh my gosh, Gromash? I mean, like, not Gromash, Kel'Thuzad? Next turn? Oh my gosh, this is going to be really bad for... This could be really bad for Kiyuki. He can get rid of everything but the Guardian. He could uh, Axe... Axe, Gromash, remove the 1-1 one, one, and leave the Guardian, but then it just gets a quality. What about silencing the 1-5 with Spellbreaker? Oh, okay. Yeah, I think you take this. You keep... He knows... He knows Kel'Thuzad's in his hand. So, I think he's just saving Spellbreaker for that. Sure. Eight. That also could be a possibility, but... It's clearing board here. Now are you a quality and then kill the sun? And then you have like a really sick board. I don't think he even needs to a quality here. Vengeance. That's true. Yeah, he could actually... Uh, you give your opponent a little bit of armor, but you could actually pyro lay hands here. If you wanted, but... Oh, okay. It just takes the opportunity to take it now. Oh, man. Can he faceless and kill the Zod? Oh, that's such a good turn. Oh, that's I right. think that might have just spun. Yeah. Wait, faceless kill the Zod, and then... You get, le you get Lotha back. Right, but then his minions are there, so he can kill your. So you need a little bit more than that. Well, he faces his kill to Zod. You silence. silence. You can't kill it yeah. though. You don't have enough mana. Yeah, you, you can't kill it. That's true. But <sighs> he used Gromash too early. And now he doesn't have a finisher. It's 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 over if he doesn't kill Kel Zod this turn. Or, well, if he doesn't silence him at least, it's he's got to at least silence him. And I think. Mm. I think he might have had some semblance of a chance if he would have facelisted and then got the Lotha back. He might have at least have a comparable board, but then yeah, he's going to just a quality consecrate and been, been tough yeah. anyways. It seems like this lead that Koyuki established didn't really pan out as... Well, little, I think the... He's throwing away stuff a little carelessly. Well, I think the Sylvanas, I'd be curious to see what he was trying to play. He was obviously trying to bait something out or something, but I feel like the Sylvan losing that Sylvanas hurt him. It, it would have been just another minion that, that would have yes. potentially made a play, a value so. play. Yeah, he, he just lost gave it up Sylvanas to half a true silver charge and a hero power. Yeah, dude, yeah, yeah. Okay, so at least he silenced him. Yeah, still has your Sarah, so it's by no means over, but um, RDU now can effectively do whatever he wants and jump out to a pretty big lead now, the opposite end. Melody, okay. Just lots of defensive cards. But even nah, Kelly, that's fine. Really like, tough this is where Paladin. Care. Yeah, this is where Paladin pulls really far ahead because it's like the late game powers of the hero power and the fact that Koyuki can only deal these ones ones with so much. 
Yeah. Like, Yasuo needs to actually be so big here for Koyuki. He needs to get, like... He needs to get Yasuo Awakens, like, something equivalent to that. Because the problem is... Yasuo's gonna go out there and die. But she it's has, like, this good. one ability to pull out a card that can change the, the momentum on the board. That's not it. Nope. Does she have Kodo? Does Arnie no, have but... Kodo here? Oh, no. He doesn't have Kodo, but he can actually just pyro and throw those guys in there. Yeah. Yep. God, that's the best case scenario right there for him. Yep. Hero power. Yeah, I think that's going to wrap it up for him, actually. I don't see Kiyuki getting out of this. Um, no. He's out of, he's out of his brawl. He's, I mean, the ghoul might be able to distribute some, some damage. Yeah, like that ghoul might be able to distribute some damage, but... He's. I, mean, I don't think his deck has any more bite to it. It's easily replaced by a hero power. Like, this 1-3 is highly inconsequential. Paladins is sitting at a pretty comfortable health, so it's not like you're going to win a Fatigue War. Your Faceless doesn't even get you anything back on board. It immediately dies. Yeah. This is really tough spot. Like, I don't know how the Warrior... Like, this is the spot that I was expecting from the beginning, but, um... Artie, you just played kind of like, ah, yeah, draw your cards, go ahead, and almost gave, like, an opportunity for Koyuki to win. But, eh, it seems like it worked out all right. As long as you get the win. Uh, I think that you, you do Nightmare those. That's the only way you can res be resilient against stuff. Okay. All right. Let's... Oh, the code. <laughs> okay, the code is pretty much going to spell the end of this. Yep, just Kodo the Armor Smith. Hero power. It's really no rush. Like, Paladin just doesn't have to do anything. Ever. Just hero power. Like, for any reason. Ever. Like, Michael, what Michael Scott would say, right? <laughs> Don't do anything to anybody ever, for any reason. To anyone, <laughs> to anybody, <laughs> to anything. Yep, for any reason. That's right. Ever. This game's over. <laughs> yeah. You can just letting it sink in a little bit. Try and maybe think about what would be good against this Paladin. RD goes up 1 0. Best of seven here. Let's see what Kayuki ends up picking. How to pass out, man. <laughs> there we go. School, if, if this goes like the distance as we get the game underway and Mulligans are about to pop on the screen, if this goes the just... distance of game seven, RDU you actually is going to probably miss his school bus. Like, We're gonna see how, his like, mom like turn off the lights. But his webcam got darker as like the as the hours <laughs> passed by. Like it's I thought it was already that. pitch black at night, but somehow this guy has gone to the depths of the of the dusk. I don't know. This is it's he's like trying night, really dude. hard to win to win this title. The kid wants it more than anything. Dude, we're gonna hear his alarm clock go off, and his mom comes out, opens the light, and it's like, "You're still up? What's going on?" You're not gonna do that to your you don't do that to your kids, right, Chandler, When they play. Juicy. No, because I'm I'm still up when they wake up. <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, oh gosh! All right, Artie right, looks like see. he's in a decent spot, but it's gonna get picked up by Defender of Argus. This is an excellent start. Ooh, Violet Ooh, Teacher that's... potential value. Oh though. Do you... goodness! Violet Teacher or even Argus too. I mean, Argus is pretty good, but the equality wow. it would be. Yeah, too much I think you throw. Argus. You you Argus because then next turn you ain't you um innervate Ancient of Lore. There he goes. Okay, well he picks up this value, but he's committing to it. Quality, it's like something here, I guess. It is. He's still left with some stuff on the board though, but I, I feel like he's just committing to it right now. Like this is a token druid. You just gotta go and just hope your opponent doesn't have the cards. Hmm. You know what I mean? Like this, we've seen this token druid just kind of run out of steam against the paladin multiple times now, and can't really blame him for committing to it. He does have the ancient lore too in a couple of turns, so he knows he'll get some cards back. But uh, this is definitely painful, and he's going to be able to clear it completely. <laughs> he knows himself. Wow. All right. 
and RDU sitting in a very good position. He's got a, a Belcher and a Cairn back to back play there. But Spectral Knight, that's a good draw. Nice. Just the answers, man. Just an got the answers. All right, Spectral right, Knight's well. Aldor there, so it's not going to be much of a threat. But another Spectral Knight. Oh, okay. Opting for the, the nice man, just uh, man efficiency there. Okay. Hey, still got Ancient of Lore to keep this going. Yeah. Wow, I already Artists. even got lay, hand, lay on hands too now, so this is gonna be this right. is this really good. Koyuki needs two very important cards with this Ancient of Lore play. He's gonna need. He's gonna need combo. Oh, he's not gonna go for it because he wants to be defensive against um, Karen. Oh, okay. Guess so. That's a. Uh... I don't feel like this druid has mud. You know, can really get into contests. You know, these trading kind of con these trading type of situations. Hmm. Remove it or not to remove? Well, if you if you don't remove it, then what was the point of playing this Druid of the Claw? Yeah, the agree. Whoa, attacking Cairn. Okay. No, it's just a force. Paying the life, so you can't trade into it. Yeah, that's a good play. Oh. Um. I mean, he's been getting he's been getting some serious Kalthazan just game enders, just game closers. Yeah, that actually gets to get to Cairns is way too much value. Uh, he is set up really well to, to do that. Because like, honestly, even just Banes. Like even if there's just four fives, like the fact that you just have these bodies and you spawn another one is just crazy. And he just protects way too much. Care too. So this is brutal. I mean, Ancient of Lore, he's gonna play in the Ancient of Lore to draw, I believe, and this is pretty this is brutal. Hmm. Alright, well let's see if he draws he needs to draw first. He might get uh, an opportunity to do something here, like innervate wrath. I mean he oh. He definitely needs a, a silence next turn. I mean, either for Karen or for the um, for Kalthazad here. He's gonna which have to one? deal. Do you have to for deal with the Karen? Bane, a Karen? Yeah. Tell me which Karen? Because now well, you like has to deal Karen. with two Karens. Oh my one, lord! One. <laughs> oh, there's like the fact that this Karen survives and is well, I guess Bane. If you want to be technical, yeah. but the fact is, there's two, four, five bodies. This is well, you can kill him now. You can actually kill Keltazad now, but well, you have to kill him. Otherwise, oh. if you spend time removing Karen, he's actually just going to come back. I think you hero power swipe. Wrath into Kel'Thuzad. Yeah. All right. Well, he's left with two four fours and five one. He's expended a lot of his removal. Paladin's at a very comfortable health count, and RDU is very far ahead. Um, I'm actually surprised that how easy it's been to kind of smack things down. I mean, Kelta Zad, this is the best I've ever seen Kelta Zad, Zad have an effect on, on, the, on games. It's just closing games early, like on turn 8. It's just closing the instant it gets down. It's crazy. Huh. Alright, well... Really cool. I mean, it's great. I it's great to see, see that I don't see how Koyuki can pull himself out, because everything he comes down like, he's going to start falling further behind. Although, maybe Koyuki can get some way to sneak in a combo if his opponent's getting careless with his health. 
Yeah, that's about that's the only chance I think he has. It's very tough to to catch up when you fall behind with this, this uh, druid deck. He can get another four damage in here. I mean, his opponent has holy light and lands right now, so that's pretty tough. Yeah, he'd have to get like a double savage roar or some nature innervate. Mm, even then, he has 29 health. He can't even do. I know. That's a sneak needs, in some damage before that. He needs to somehow open up arena, get two more innervates and another savage roar, <laughs> and then double, like triple savage roar with force of nature, and then he actually can kill him. Because then he'll have 30 damage. But that's really hard to do. I dare say impossible. I've never seen it. Uh, RDU should holy light, Koyuki. This is how you seal the deal. <laughs> you get so far in his- or you lay on hands your opponent, and you're, you say you want to play a little bit longer. <laughs> Alright, it's gonna concede okay. here. Alright, so Koyuki falls behind 2-0-2 two, two here to RDU. RDU just showing how strong this Paladin is. Koyuki, man, suffer, get, getting beat around by his, his class here. Breaks the game open, like, for you. It's kind of crazy. But it looks like they're ready. Game number three, guys. Here we go. See if you can get in this, get in this series here. And he's gonna have to rely on his tried and true paladin deck now. Doesn't have Kel'Thuzad. We'll see if um, that's gonna make a big difference for him here. Harrison Jones might get some true silver value. Oh man, already you has Harrison Jones too. Well, that's going to be good if you disable your opponent's Tyrion. Or well their true silver champion needed, well just to get met. the simple value. Well and Koyuki is going to try to school RDU well in Paladin, met. but, you know, maybe the student can become the master here. As RDU is the one kind of, yeah, using Paladin to try and defeat Koyuki. Yeah. All right. Thank you. All right, dude, on do action. Well met. <laughs> Not my cup of tea, but I enjoy faster-paced Hearthstone. Yeah. That was a mistake. What are these guys doing? Uh, what are these guys doing? Uh, I don't know. All right, will he throw out his engine? Will he throw? No, out there's his actually team? no incentive to throw out his engine. I know, if you throw out his engine, it actually gets two silver done. Who's gonna flinch first? That's the way Paladin draws cards, man. He just presses the hero power. It's like a, it's just gonna be hero power for the longest time. <laughs> I guess you okay. You have to throw it out if you're already because you, you don't. You just have to. Your hand's gonna get too clogged. Plus, on the off chance that he doesn't have two silver, then um, you're fine. <laughs> All right, now it's like the the three five wars. Oh, oh first person with the true silver. silver. Here we go. But first person to get Harrison too. Yeah, maybe not so bad. Ledge Belcher, three five wars. Okay. Then how does Koyuki respond to this? He has his own true silver so champion, and then he gets the value off his hero power. There you go. The battle. This is a uh, power actually is a big difference. So Belcher being on the board for so long, this is this is kind of like the board state that we've seen where Keltazad already draws into Keltazad and he ends up being play on turn A and really giving him a nice nice situation for him to really reincarnate a lot of the, the minions here. But he doesn't have it quite yet. Yeah, I think you're just the most important thing with this paladin matchup is just to it's kind of like the shaman where you just want to make sure to establish the board control and get ahead in hero powers. I like just look at how what happens when Koyuki gets ahead slightly by one hero power. His true silver trades effectively, and like yeah. every single time he just has that little damage, especially when it comes to taunt wars, to push over the edge and get efficient removal. 
And just by like RDU going second is already a disadvantage. Um, mm -hmm. And the most important yep. way to in the control wars when you're going second is your coin timing. But RDU has never found an opportunity to use it. All right, now we're gonna see the lead. Mm, lead extend. I was gonna say it's gonna extend uh, a little bit here because he's yeah. Kyuki's gonna be able to get his Harrison Jones value, remove the Harrison. Yeah, but that acolyte, that acolyte's gonna be nice though. Yeah, you might suicide like, well. your token in. Oh, suicide you your so? token in and then play Harrison. Yeah, it's why not? Or you even use. Um, yeah, you might as well. Sure. Oh, he's going for Tyrion. Ah, that's pretty nice. ballsy this early, but Koyuki understands this matchup better than I do. Yeah, considering that well, we uh, RDU has Spellbreaker right here. They both have their silences, so. He has Spellbreaker, Humility, and this becomes a card draw engine. That's bad news for Koyuki. Uh-oh. Oh, you're right. Oh, no. He's going to... No, he's going to... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Two. Oh, two over. cards. Yeah, right. Like, this is this is a bad situation for Koyuki. He's going to fall behind now. Very clever. Hmm. No? He's just thinking, I think. Just uh, making sure to count his cards. Uh, is there an opportunity to play something else? Hmm. Oh, wow. Look what he drew into there. All right, so Dang. Kyuki basically has to clear this board. Oh, for... man. And, and Kyuki only has a quality, and this is not an equality time. This is a time where you fight back with um, Pyromancer, I guess. Wow, you have to use humility on a spellbreaker. That is bad news. Well, what's even it's, it's also difficult here is that, oof, if Keltazad comes down, then you're gonna have to use that silence on potentially on him or on equality, whatever. And True. that's gonna be one less answer you're gonna have for things like Tyrion and Guardian Kings and you know big boards. He's got a lot of cards. RDU has so many cards. Right, not gonna play the Celtic side yet. Doesn't like, uh, didn't like the I guess lead that he had. Yeah, the best play with Kel'Thuzad was like Pyromancer coin and Kel'Thuzad, so that way like, you can like snipe <laughs> his Pyromancer. But that was not really that powerful, so it yeah. makes more sense to try to go for something like this. And you know, Senjin picks up two for one. Like this is starting to really favor RDU with some of these trades. Like everything is lining up really well for him. Other than the beginning true silver value for Koyuki, I haven't seen a point in his department. Agree. Yeah, I think the Guardian's gonna be a good play here. Whoa. Okay, and now we're gonna this see. This is the same thing now. Like the Pyro coin into Keldazad clears the board oh. and he gets it back. Oh man, that is brutal. Wow. wow, this is wow, what actually a bananas. Yeah. But what a play by RDU here. This is... This is, again, Kel'Thuzad so, just closing so, out the game. I mean, it's not even now close. He, it's like, now he needs um equality. Oh, and yeah, consecration it. draw, so this right. is keeps good a minute. for Koyuki. <laughs> yeah, this keeps a minute, but he's way behind. That's just a second Lotheb that came back for free. He's killing. So he really just killed Kethazad there. The quality consecrate. Justice. All right. Okay, well, so Ardio still has to get his big creatures like Tyrion and then um, start using Ashbringer as a way to actually shove damage. But uh, Koyuki can still use things like Sylvanas to pull even. It's not over, it's just that he's behind. Yeah, he's gonna need... Uh, his second equality is gonna need to be huge. Like, crazy value. And Sylvanas... Right, it, yeah, which Sylvanas means it needs... Yeah, so, which means it needs RDU to overextend, which I don't think he will. Yeah, I mean, that Sylvanas has to steal Tyrion, because he lost his Tyrion pretty... Pretty easily there. Got very little value from this Tyrion. Yes. All right. Now Koyuki is now at an impasse. Where he, oh man, Zombie Chow is terrible. 
He's at an impasse cool. where now he feels like he has to play Sylvanas, and then yeah, he has to. RDU can kind can now start of start dictating um, how the trades go and potentially put himself in a favorable position. Like whatever Sylvanas steals, he can like Aldor. Yep, that's right. Uh, he's also got a quality consecration. Uh, Always a fun combination. There's not much on the board, really. Most of it's going to be injured by the time he procs it here. Reporting for duty. Might he use, uh, yeah, Guardian Kings to trade, then consecration finish? Yeah, I'd actually just, yeah, injure the Earthen Ring first. Yeah, just injure everything as much as possible so yeah. you get optimal amounts of. The Leave the one one, of course. Yeah. Oh, it takes the one one. There you go. You don't even actually have to do anything. And wow. yeah, you know, another oh. another check by by RDU there. About from a value trade standpoint. Um, silence on the sludge Belgium. Yeah, That's yeah. pretty indicative of how this entire game's going. So as soon as RDU gets Tyrion, he's slapping that baby down. Yeah, Kiyuki still does have Harrison Jones though. So that's yes. at least, you know, removing part of Tyrion's uh, value there. Man, look at this. That's like RDU never has to use equality. <laughs> it's like amazing. <laughs> that is, like, Koyuki's used almost all of his removal, and RDU's never had to. <laughs> that's crazy. what's just bananas about how far ahead he's been. Okay, and there's a the second equality. He, it's just going to have to do. It's gonna have to do a lot of work, like kill the rest of his big minions. <laughs> rest of our there we go. There we go. Put your faith in the light. Tyrion has arrived. Koyuki did draw lay on hand, so it could be worse. If he drew nothing else, if he had another zombie chow, he would have been oh, okay. completely mowed. That's actually good for him. Oh, he could use a humility or something like that, just to have a chance. Now, RDU takes this as good news. Okay, Leon Hands doesn't have Black Knight. That's one thing that he's worried about with Tyrion. Alright, it's time to get some cards. See whatever Kiki's got left. <laughs> oh, wow. So Harrison Jones ends up taking it. Yep, yeah, right. three more cards there. But oh, Sunwalker. running out of threats. He's, yeah, definitely running out of threats. He's got Sunwalker there at least. Well He's got the Aldor Kodo combo too, so he can actually answer another another big minion. This probably will go in. This might actually go into fatigue. And you know what? Like if RDU, RDU might not actually end up getting any value from my hands. He might be forced to just hold it the whole time. Mm, yeah, you don't want to get into fatigue earlier than your opponent. His yeah. last mission is to get value off of this um, quality consecrations. That two of them. Oh, Koyuki does have Yasera. That's definitely oh. a factor. Oh man, but he's got two. Yeah, he's got two equality consecrates. This is like, and this is gonna. This is actually going to um, trigger a Yasera play. This, I think, this should trigger Yasera play. But you know what, Kayuki could just use like an Emerald Drake, something big, right? He just needs another card that's got big minions. He's, he's lost yeah, some of definitely. his big minions for, for just so actually the Emerald Drake would be the best card, dream, dream card for him here. Something that's not like dream. Uh, dream. Oh, he actually, got dream. He, 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 he it back. Oh, he should dream, maybe dream his Sarah back? I don't know. Oh, yeah, actually, yeah, it might be okay. He could protect it. He could protect it. Dreaming on the Sylvanas is actually pretty good here. I have no time for the reason why I said dream was bad, because it doesn't... Oh. Like, it doesn't actually do anything in these fatigue wars. It just stalls the inevitable. Like, if he had something like a minion or even Ysera Awakens, it affects the, the state of the board. So I guess it's going to be okay to get tempo, but the tempo in this state is kind of tricky. Koyuki is also yeah. aware that his opponent has a second equality. So he doesn't want to overextend. Yeah. It's like, do you damage him or do you 
Do you try to clear the board here? Or just tr clear some of the board here? I shall bring you rest. Oh, man, it's gonna be tough for him to come back. He's, he's, he's only at 18 health. He's about to run out of cards. I don't think, I think he's ahead of RDU in card, card wise. Yeah, RDU still has about four cards left, I think. Oh, and this is committing to the board here. But he's gotta do something. Gotta hope that RDU doesn't have an equality construct. Oh, that's a big game changer. Yasser Awakens is nice. I actually don't think it's that great. You like that card? Well, how does he how does he answer what his opponent has? Yeah, but he's he's gonna damage himself and he's going into fatigue. Oh. Ah, I, I mean oh. in the fatigue wars though, I think you care a lot about having the final say as opposed to anything else. Uh, okay. No, <laughs> RD thought he had enough mana to consecrate. <laughs> but he's just like, yeah, whatever. Oh, he, he gets another the Drake. Oh, man. That's brutal. Like, you still have time here. You have Holy Light. So it's really not about the... Like, it's really about the board state. It's not about the fact that you do damage. I'm almost out of And with this Sylvanas... And the lack of silence, I believe Ardu should be able to what? do. Oh, he's got Karen too. No time for he's almost out of cards. Okay, so he's two cards behind Kyuki. Yeah, but now Kyuki's taking damage. He has to Peacekeeper this. Oh, but he's got a hero power first. He has to. Oh, this is so bad. I guess Yasser awakens. Hmm. I think you hit Yasser Awakens and then play everything you can behind it. No? Okay. Yeah, racing yeah makes actually, this too. is better. This is better. This is actually way better. He actually has a lethal, potential lethal here. Yeah. But he's got Holy Light, though. Yeah. And Holy, yeah. True Silver oh. Champion. Wow. That's good. Yes. And RDU needs to push something out here. Or just heal. But, yeah, Emerald, yeah. Drake, and heal, for sure. This is starting to get crazy. Koyuki needs to win this game. Like, I can't... He, and, yeah. Like, he's out of options. Actually, because of that Holy Light, I think it's slightly out of range. He's got nothing else. Like, this is all he has. He's got Holy Light also. And he can't draw from the Acolyte, so... This is this like is he's, it. I he's mean, gonna win. He's gonna lose the war because from here, as long as um, there's no more minions to worry about, are you just true silver champions and waits for fatigue to settle in? Oh man, are you? Let's see how much. What can he do here? To can right. he beat? Can he win right here? I don't think so. But he can play Karen. Oh, actually, steal something. <laughs> oh. Okay, that's. Oh. It. Trade. Karen. Hero power. That's oh, Yugi's it. last chance is fatigue, but he's healing from True Silver Champion. And that's it. Okay. RDU's gonna jump out 3 0. RDU, man, looking to sweep this series with the Paladin. It's early on when he was trying to develop this Priest deck. and. Definitely had some moments where it was it, it could be pretty good, but we'll see. Mind control is going to have to get a lot of value here. I All thought right. steal too. Koyuki, Koyuki yeah, is in sure. big trouble, and Undertaker is uh, is a start, but he needs more than that, much more than that. Yeah, he's gonna have to come back from zero three. He's gonna have to that this priest deck's gonna have to win four in a row here. It might be possible if he can get past this one. This uh, this hurdle is the biggest one right here, Paladin. All right, uh, still nothing to buff up the death rattle. Okay, got to get some power word shield. That's good. Gonna be able to remove the dude and play the other death rattle, so that's uh just hoping for a dark hole is here. But you know what? Plenty of opportunities, and if you don't, you thought steal. RDU's got both of his equalities already. 
Wow. Needs other stuff though besides quality. Yes. No board pre board no board presence means that quality is completely useless. Ooh. Oh my gosh, Kayuki gets two defensive cards Whoa. his first thought steal. He has two ways to steal with Elder Peacekeeper and Cabal Shadow Priest and Humility. Oh, that's true. That is crazy. Oh, that's he right. Can take that, that, his PS3 mind controls in yeah. his deck. That uh that synergy is so good. Actually he has four with Sylvanas. Alright, finally gets to buff one of these uh, these uh, Undertakers. Alright, he's going to need to make some plays with it, that's for sure. Steal Sylvanas, that is huge, actually. Steal Karen, that could be huge too. Oof. Code Steel of value. Empire. Yeah, why not? That seems to be the theme of this hand. Take your opponent's minions. <laughs> okay, okay, now, here. above everything else though, RDU has a quality. Yeah. How do you but it's okay. As long as you play it, if you, as long as you steal a very impactful minion, you know, like a, you know, Karen with that has a, obviously a token or Savannah that can steal regardless of how, how powerful it is. That that's going to be good for you. Even with a clear here, Kelthazad. Kelthaz, no, Kelthazad just died too. But you know, RDU still doesn't have anything to actually combo with the the quality yet. But you know he's gonna draw it soon. He's just he's got four chances at it. It'll be right. fine eventually, as long as he doesn't take too much pressure damage from Priest. Uh, in the meantime, Koyuki doing a good job just eliminating the board. He is gonna take this Karen next turn. Unless anything changes. Something better maybe. Oh it's... Okay. Oh, now, does Ardio go for Faceless on Karen? Because that's a powerful move, and then that gives you like a way to legitimately fight against the Cabal Shadow Priest stolen Karen. I wonder. Hmm. He was thinking about Pyro Colony here. What? N n not here. I don't think. Oh, no, so. no, he. You know, he was like. Yeah, he was. Really? He was grabbing Pyro. Use a Wow. I don't know, he just doesn't like this board at all. Doesn't want to give Priest any kind of momentum, but he's doing it at, at, at the cost of a Cairn. That's, um... Hmm. He basically does 5 damage to himself, and he does 11 damage to his opponent's minions, so the 6 trade-off is okay. Okay, well, that's one equality. That's actually good for a Kyuki. That was a fairly... I mean, it, it was still... Two solid Ooh. minions, but really painless. Snap call oh, he, from. Oh my god. Ardu, but look what's about to happen. Oh, no. Koyuki can't contain himself. He's like, yes, I'm still playing Paladin. I knew it. Well met. Oh, humility, and he knows exactly what's coming out. Let me Here it comes. Let oh, me change this your mind. is huge. Oh my gosh. So now the priest has got a weapon. Ardu needs his Harrison Jones now. <laughs> to, uh, it's not faceless. Yeah, he does. There you go. Nothing ever happened. Good as new. Except the one. That is rain. Right. Then you mind control it. Oh, that'd be so funny if you just. Oh, no, no, oh, no, wait, wait, wait. wait. He, what if you Shadow Madness? What, Shadow Madness. Oh my gosh. Shadow Madness would be awesome. Yeah, you Shadow Madness. Whoa. Shadow. Oh my gosh. What about <laughs> you? This is awesome. Holy smoke. He's gonna have. He's gonna have 30 damage from Ashbringers potentially. Well, he can't fit all those weapons unless he's dual wielding. Last time I checked, we leave that for Call of Duty. Not our stuff. <laughs> well, if he doesn't lose this, as long as he doesn't lose this Tyrion in the next few turns. Oh my god. How does gosh, he lose this? Like, how, how do you lose so, this position? This is over this turn. I think, I think that's lethal. Yeah, that's 20 wow. damage. I think. Right there because of the weapon. Well, that was it. Mind control, insane. mind control it. Mind control is 5 6. Take it from him. It's rightfully yours. Claim your place. Oh. Oh, Alright, alright, go. You go. I'll let you go because you made some really cool plays. So, uh, Thought Steal. Pretty good card. Wow. And uh, players are ready. We're going to go into game number five right now. Wow, what a game, bro. It's just like.
Boom, 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 it's over. He had Ashbringers and Tyrions. And, I mean, it's just wow. crazy. The games are fun, but the finishes, Chan, man. The finishes <laughs> could be so much better. I feel like I'm watching Lost every single game, where it's like, come on, dude, the ending could have been better. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta give it to Tori. It's like, man. it's okay. Like, the, you know, I enjoyed it. I it was entertained, but... Next episode of Turn 2, BM tutorials, too. I, it's, it's one of those, you just gotta be there moments. I, I don't, I can't think of stuff in the middle. You can't. Out of thin air. It's the pressure. It's the pressure. It just comes to me naturally. What can I say? Should make puzzles. BM puzzles instead. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's look at... All right. The, well, the cleric got out early, but that Thalnus, oh man, Thalnus backs up. Always such great, great value there. The damned stand ready. He's got the gadgets in already too, and he's got the coin. A few, few spells already too. Just needs a prep. Both gadgets in. Wow. Yeah, it's a little luxurious, but he'll take it. Yeah, Kiyuki All really right, needs. Next turn, he's got eviscerate. Pretty good. Pretty good. Like, Priest got off to a slow start. He's not hitting you with three minions and starting to flood with death rattles. So, removal is pretty efficient right now. Like, Shiv Eviscerate kills um, whatever comes out, whether he defenders or whether he just passes. My but Koyuki yeah. hit a very big dead, uh, dead end with his draws here. All right, so... Uh... RDU trying to figure out what to do on this turn leading up to the gadgets in. Not the greatest I turn like for I like keeping looking. sap just because of sludge belchers. But this goes for a full clear. If you sap and eviscerate, it's a full clear. And that's often like what you want to do. You're going to be drawing cards anyways as the Miracle Rogue. And looks like Priest has really hit dead ends. So. He needs an Undertaker here or something. Something to go with that cultist. Uh, zombie oh, got something. zombie chow. Yeah, not bad. Not great, but not bad. He, he could have used an Akonai Soul Priest. That would have been nice. Hmm. Think about not playing anything. Wow. The damned stand ready. All right. No, I mean you, you, you absolutely play something. The Zombie Chow seems like when he has Soul Curl of Healing, he's keeping it for Akanai Soul Priest as a potential way to do a big burst combo, but we all know how this is going to end. Like, RDU is going to draw a lot of cards, Koyuki is going to sit there and probably browse the subreddit, and then RDU is going to be a champion, unless he draws Akanai Soul Priest. The one way he can, or, or Lotheb. Those are the two cards he's looking for right now. Let me oh, and he gets her. That's big. Oh, now he's back in it. That's huge. That is huge because he's going to be getting a lot of value from the actual clear, too. Oh man, he might be forced to use it now. Ah, no way. You know your opponent's going to eventually catch it. Yeah. Oh, Don You don't have to have an excuse not to know. Oh, Don Steel against a rogue. That's like nightmares. Leroy Shadow Steps. nightmares. Okay. He got a fan. Rep mind control? <laughs> oh, oh will that happen? True. Please, please. Oh my please. gosh, can that <laughs> seriously happen? Wow. That would no one be expects awesome. expects mind control on turn 8 anymore. Oh my god, that would be so awesome. We're yeah, I've see never it. seen that. Wow. Okay. Let's see what he draws. Here we go. Uh oh. This is starting to get bad. <laughs> oh, more bad news. He's got preparation too. I, okay. I would add leap poison, I guess, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, oh no, he's gonna that. weapon up, of course. I thought yeah. he had full charges. This is uh, what is he gonna get? That's just, okay. Oh, oh lots of solid moves to follow up this attack. Oh, all right. Well, Alkanai Soul Priest is gonna come here. Yeah, Could do a little bit of damage too. So. Okay, no. Okay. Might as well toss him the zombie chow too. Be back. So RDU has 12, 15 damage right now. He's four damage away from claiming 
his third championship in less than a month. Does he draw it? What does he draw? What is that? Fan of knives? Oh, that's right. oh. That's the four damage, but it's not enough for mana right now. And I don't know what Koyuki can do in this position, so I'm almost ready to, to crown our dude right here. All right, here we go. Both <laughs> have stopped him from prepping anything out. This is right. so ironic. Oh, That's it. I think this is going to be it. RDU is going to be winning this. He's going to be winning Deck Wars Season 2. He's going to be our champion. going to finish it off with Leroy at this rate. Wow. RDU. Just, you know, just dominating in this finals, man. Yeah, and a well, great fun. Right. Yeah. Good stuff. Great uh, proficiency with all kinds of decks. It's almost... F it, it is 5 a.m. And <laughs> I don't think RDU did his homework. So congrats, RDU. You won $2,000.